Have you ever had a leaky RV water heater? We had one today and the culprit was a bad check valve. So I'm fixing to show you how to fix it. Hey y'all, I'm Cole and this is Younger Every Day. On this channel, we do product reviews, take you on amazing adventures, and share tips and tricks for RV living, just like this one. If you haven't seen some of our other videos, you can click right up here to check them out. And if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, go ahead and do that and click the bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. So the thing that happened just a little while ago is we noticed water. Not quite pouring out from underneath the trailer, but dripping really heavily. I mean, it looked bad and there was a big puddle underneath and I was like, that is not right. I've seen water dripping off when there was frost or when it was cold or something and that's not what this is. So let's go take a look and see if we can figure out what's going on. You see it? Yeah. That's not good. What on earth? I don't know. So that could be related to why we don't have hot water. I don't know. We're gonna have to troubleshoot that here in a minute. All right, so let's see if we can figure out where this water's coming from. See all our wonderful things that we're still storing with us, but lots of it's for school, and some of it's for fun. So we just got our basement cleared out here, and I don't know if you can see this, but there is water along the edge of our walls here in the basement. That is not good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this panel off right here and see if we can figure out what's going on. Okay, so we've clearly got some water in there. I can hear it dripping from somewhere, but I can't see where yet, so I'm gonna have to take this panel off too. Oh yeah, I'd say we got a problem with our water heater. Oh yeah, we got a lot of water. That ex could explain why we didn't have hot water this morning. So we got a nice active drip there. Okay, so now we know we have a big water leak coming off of our water heater. And when our water heater wasn't working this morning, I thought, well, we could have a failed check valve. I think that's pretty obvious now. We certainly have a, a bad connection, so we're gonna have to replace that. So here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna open up our hot water heater over here, and I'm gonna let the pressure off. Okay, so we let the pressure off. Now we can actually check on that. From what I can tell, that is the hot water outlet on our water heater, and I'm guessing it's a bad check valve. Now, I remember several months back when we were still in Arlington, we paid someone to come out and do a visit fee, and all they did was replace the check valve on the hot water heater. I'm gonna pull it out so I can see what we've got. Let's see if I can get this. All right. I guess a trip to the RV dealer, which there is one real close by, is in our immediate future. Here's our old check valve, and I could see this when I was taking it apart, so you can see my finger through that crack. The man at All Valley RV said that that's most likely due to freeze damage, so I purchased a brass replacement check valve that should help us out. <clears throat> It'll be much better in terms of weather resistance, and he said that a lot of people do use these for that reason. So we're gonna put that in. I picked up some Teflon tape. I was pretty sure I had some, but I didn't really wanna go looking for it. It's 99 cents. So all total, I think this was $11. And let me just tell you, last time we replaced it, I know we paid at least 75 for a visit fee, and I think it was more like 100 when you counted the visit fee plus the labor to repair it when I can do this for $11. So, hey, you know, try doing it yourself. I know lots of people watch YouTube to get help videos. We've done it, hopefully this one helps you. So let me show you how to put it on. So the main thing that you wanna make sure of when you go to replace the check valve on your water heater is, for one, make sure your water's off and you know release the pressure before you pull the check valve off, just like I did. But once you go to put it on, you need to make sure that the flow is in the correct direction. So in this case, this is the outlet on our hot water heater, so I need to make sure that the flow the arrow is pointed outward towards my fitting. And one way to check that is I looked at the old one and I could see where it was inside of my tank, where it was threaded in, and I could check the, the uh, arrow, which is pointing out. So that's, I know for sure that's which way it needs to go. So I'm gonna check this one out. See the arrow lets you know which way the flow is gonna go. I got the arrow, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little Teflon tape on the piece that's gonna go actually into the hot water heater. Do similar to what I did when I did the, a different install. I'm gonna do a couple wraps on this, and then 
tear it off. Okay, so here we go. Go ahead and get it hand tightened when I can. Okay. Unfortunately, I do not have a wrench big enough for this, so I'm gonna have to just use my pliers and try to give it a few good turns. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Now I'm gonna grab my outlet hose. Okay, just gonna take my outlet and hand tighten that back on. Give this one a couple turns with the pliers also. Okay, so that's nice and snug. So now I'll go turn my water back on, turn on the hot water heater, and we'll see if we are good to go. Now I'm gonna turn the water back on. Close this back up. Okay, it looks like everything's coming on and water flow should be good. I don't see any drips or any leaks on our new fitting we just installed, so we should be good to go there. Now all I've gotta do is figure out how to drain the water out from this kind of undercarriage uh, that is below our basement. So I think I'm gonna take our hose and just try to change the pressure on it and drop it down and hopefully drain that water out with a little gravity flow. Now I'm gonna take our black tank clean out hose, which you know we use to just hook up and spray water into the black tank clean out, which has a special connection on the outside of the tank. It's not like you stick it in your black tank or something, but on the outside of the trailer. But I'm gonna stick that in here and try to use that to siphon the extra water that's developed in here out. There it comes. Now we're draining. It's a lot of water. I know. <laughs> All right, so we are still getting a little bit of water flow here, but you can see this gigantic puddle or mud pool of water. That's everything that was inside of our trailer. So thankfully we're getting that out. The rest I may have to use a sponge to get out or something because I think that's all, but we got the bulk of it out using the siphon. So that's good. I'm really glad we were able to figure that out and get it fixed before it got too late because I didn't want to go without hot water tonight because there are dishes to be washed and I for one would like to take a hot shower. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I actually hope it helps you out. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it and click that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can keep up with our other tip and trick videos as we share them. Now I'd like to know, what problems have you had with your hot water heater in your RV? And what'd you do to fix them? Let us know in the comments below. So. Noticing some crazy water pouring out of the bottom of the trailer and fixing it ourselves to save lots of money all before dinner. That's just another way that we're living younger every day. I'll see you in the next one.